Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of course to take a look at the Link ECU card pack that was dropped. We have Dylan Hughes, Faruku Guy, Justin Pollock, and Jeff Jones. We're going to take a look at them, drive them on a couple FD tracks, get my impressions on them. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are in the description box below. Let's get to it. So I figure the first car we take out is that first one up there. That is Dylan Hughes' E46. Now these are updated versions from day release. There was some physics updates, some power updates, and things of that nature. We do have that installed on the car. So we're at FD 2020, and we're going to try and take it and see what we can do with it. All right, so we're going to take this track to the paces here and see what we can do with it. We're going to heat up our tires first. I think all these cars have LEDs and underbodies, they do, so we're going to rock the underbodies with my post-processing, I can see it during the day, obviously, a little GoPro on top. So first impression of the sound of the car, it sounds awesome, the wheel does feel pretty good on it, so let's see what we can do on this way, we're going to run the other layout too, a little turbo lag, kick it in. A little bit short there, able to get out there. Let's quick handbrake drag there, a little left foot brake, so we don't drift out. A little shallow through that zone, but we managed to finish the run up. Not a bad first run for first rip in this car. So we're gonna flip around and run the old layout style. So definitely excited to see you know Link ECU cars and FD cars here in the game because, well, we all know FD and drifting. It's becoming a big thing now, more than ever, especially with sim racing and then sim drifting becoming a big thing. It's great to see these cars in here. Fourth gear rip. Three, two, one. Handbrake that in. Oh, we're going to touch grass. This is uh, kind of a really bad entry. A little bit skatey. Definitely has the power, though. Oh. So definitely noticing a whole lot of uh, skatiness in the tires. It's very slippery, so maybe it's just a suspension setting or a tire setting that I need to modify to uh, limit how much it's actually slipping. Having a little bit of a traction issue in the rear, as you can see, we kind of skated off into the grass. So we're going to switch up cars, switch up to another car one of them and switch tracks so catch you guys when we're on grid with another car the next car on the track black Furu Kuwai's S14 and we are at one of my favorite tracks FD Irwindale we're gonna be heating up the tires on the bank and getting to the start line so it's the best way to heat up the tires I feel going up to the line here clutch kick it out kicking the fourth a left foot brake lock up the front heat those up and flat spot them all right Furu Kuwai S14, FD Irwindale. Let's go. Full send. A little initiation. Thought I was going to tank the wall. Kind of let off a little bit. So, first run out, not terrible. Coming to the transition. Ooh. Very snappy transition with that car. Definitely need to lay off throttle a little bit so it doesn't snap that hard. Stay in power all the way to the finish. So definitely very different than, you know, Dylan Hughes' E46. We can go through the wall a little bit. That's good to know. So we're going to get another solid run in Farouk's car. And see if we can't throw a saucy initiation and get that inner bank section a little bit, or intersection a little better, because that was kind of a uh, very 90. We can't do that. Clutch kick initiation. Fade up to the wall. That's better. Off the gas. Not as snappy. There we go. A little handbrake to drag it in there. Not as much angle as I could have been, but much cleaner run than the first one. A little clutch kick out there. Drag it out to the end. I feel like that was a much more solid of a run. So. Personally, so far, I am liking Farouk's Kai over 
Farouk's car. Farouk's Kai. I'm thinking of my dog's name. Farouk's car over Dylan Hughes's car. We're going to try a very spicy entry and see if we can't do a very f nasty faint initiation without handbrake or anything like that. Let's do it. Then we're going to switch up cars. <laughs> Huge flick entry. That would definitely be an unchaseable entry. Come off the gas a little bit on transition. Helps definitely. Massage it up to the inner bank. Oh, just a wall tap. And we wrecked Roos car. So let's switch up cars to another very fast track. The next car on the block is Justin Pollock's Mustang. This thing is loud. And a lot of power. I'm trying to remember the layout for the track. So we're just going to go full send on this. It's a little bit shorter than I remember, but I know FD went all the way out instead of trying to hit that front clip. So not a terrible run. Oh, got a bit of a wall tap there. Not a terrible run in JTP's car. This is definitely not the track that probably utilizes the huge power. So you know we're going to go rip these other banks before we actually leave this track. We're going to get a another run here real quick though before we do that I do like how his car feels oh until you bog it down almost killing it so since we finished the runs off we're just gonna run this thing and utilize all of the power here. We're going as fast as we can here, too. We don't have six gears, but we have five. And we're at 160, 70 miles an hour. Oh, no. Oh, we definitely broke JTP's car. Let's try that again, though. We're going to go try and go full speed. We're going to slow down a little bit, but I feel like this car should be able to do this. Make sure you get it in gear. This car is crazy. But a lot of fun. Alright, full speed into this turn. And then we're switch up to... Jeff Jones. Nope, sent that too hard. Again. So JTB's car, I like how it handles. Definitely need to utilize this car in a bigger track such as Irwindale. So we're going to go check out Jeff Jones' car for the next one. Jeff Jones Doc X GT Radial 370Z. Definitely a chassis I like. Oof. Oh, it's loud. And we are going to be riding it here at... Orlando Speed World, so it's hopefully this car can handle the banks. This car has a lot of power, I'm noticing. So, OSW, Jeff Jones. Fourth gear. Come off the bank. Not a bad run, I would say. Probably should go into third gear on that inner bank, but overall, not a bad car. The wheel feel is definitely a lot more, if you notice, my wheel is moving a little more violently in this car. So this car does feel a lot different than the other ones. Personally, I kind of like the way the wheel feels in this one. Like how Justin Pollock's car runs. So... 
We have to spend some more time in these cars to get a good feeling for a wall. Why was I in second? Yep, third gear is where we need to be, I think, in this car. Having shifter issues recently, I'm getting a little bit of miss shifts, so unfortunately I need to uh, address that. Had a miss shift in a race with my friends and ended up popping the motor of a Miata, so unfortunately, we gotta address that. So we're gonna try this bank in third. One final run here for the today's episode. If you guys like it, if you want to see more, I have one more pro car to drive. But that's for another episode. So make sure you follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. Yep, third gear was the right gear to choose. Yep, there we go. Right in that crease. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. As always, I think you guys should come back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. Ooh, chatter. I'll see you guys on the track.